Let's now go to the Upper West Region, where the region recorded 12,575 cases of jaundice in newborns in 2021. Available statistics also showed a consistent surge in cases of newborn jaundice in the region within the last five years, from 5,341 cases in 2017. The Regional Director of Health, Dr. Damien Pungori, gave the figures during a virtual launch of the Newborn Jaundice Awareness Program in WA. Infant or neonatal jaundice is a health condition where a baby's skin and the white part of the eyes appear yellowish, leading to gradual child mortality if not treated. Over 50% of all newborn babies are likely to be affected with the condition, particularly among premature baby boys. Neonatal jaundice is usually noticed within the first week of a baby's life and treated newborn jaundice can lead to brain damage. The annual month-long campaign by the Pediatric Society of Ghana is therefore to create public awareness about the health condition. This year's event is on the theme, Survive and Thrive from Yellow to Hero. The Upper West Regional Director of Health Service, Dr. Damien Punguiri, expressed regret over the continuous surge in neonatal jaundice in the region. For example, while the proportion of newborn babies with neonatal jaundice in 2017 was just 0.85%, in 2021, the figure rose to 1.6%, an increase from 5,341 cases in 2017 to 12,575 cases in 2021. Dr. Damien Punguiri highlighted on some of the effects of newborn jaundice if not properly diagnosed and treated, calling on parents and health caregivers to help reduce the trend. For example, if the cause is perceived to be spiritual, then families are likely to resort to a spiritual means of diagnosis and treatment and only to present when it is no longer feasible to care. All efforts must be made to put in place measures to reduce the growing number of neonatal jaundice cases and to promote early reporting. The medical director of the Upper West Regional Hospital, Dr. Robert Amesia, blames the far-reaching effects of neonatal jaundice on lack of social support and inadequate resources to manage the cases. Most of the children when they don't die are usually left with debilitating conditions and this you know results into a lot of problems in marriages, neglect of those children and sometimes some of these children even suffer various degrees of abuse the Newborn Jaundice Awareness Month 2022 was organized by the Pediatric Society of Ghana. So live here on News 360, we're live on TV3 Ghana.